Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is part seven of me sharing my lessons with you, and you know all about that, so we'll head right in. <clears throat> Basic opening, standard stuff. Okay, here. <clears throat> I've been playing uh, this Jaseki a certain way for a while, and he showed me a better way. So I'm excited about this. <laughs> Let's start with how I used to play it and why I liked it. Okay. Black Double Honeys. And the reason I like this is because white plays away. Let's assume black goes for the capture. White got two moves away. I found that kind of exciting. You know, two moves away is always sounds good to the ears. Now, the thing that I never got around is that black's A shape, pretty strong, pretty, yeah, there's a cut there, but there's really no, no way to use it. I've never found a way in the games I, where I've been in this position. <clears throat> but still, two moves away. Okay. So let's look at the new idea. Walk away. At which point I said, what? It's like, I would not consider walking away here. So let's look at it. White plays, the, there's this one sente. The other way, white got two sente. Now let's look at this one. One sente. Black drops down. We make the exchange. And then lift. Now it's black sente. So, white only got one sente this way. But now, this is a real cut. That's not a living group with anything. That's a real cut. So, white gets two moves away, and black gets great shape. Or white gets one move away, and black gets a cut. So, I feel much better about this. I'm excited about Start to use this. Okay, so that's that. Going forward. <clears throat> um, white, black, white. And black played this way, which is just bad. And it's like, yeah, he got thicker, but he didn't capture the stone or anything. And white has sente again. Okay. This, But we still are left with the question where to put the next white stone. So, uh, A is the move that, um, you know, it looks like white's trying to deal with the moil, but it doesn't even reach the moil. So it's like, yeah, I see the picture of what's, what white's trying to do, but A's a specialty move and is not doing any special job. So it's doesn't, not really working. Uh, C, normal. D, normal. But notice the mark stones. They're creating a lot of territory, very strong situation on the right. So B becomes important to start taking some of that away. You know, white gets some, black gets some. You know, rather than black gets everything there. So corner, which is what I did. Uh, a lot of you think of this kind of thing, which is not bad, but I've been playing this, and we see it again down here at 1. I want that to be an A, of course. <clears throat> the A stone's the same as the B stone. It drops down. And notice that's great for white points. Undercuts black. I, I've really been liking this move. I've been playing it for a couple of years now exclusively, 
and have no reason to change my mind. I really like it. Now, of course, we know sometimes this move is simply better. Sure, sure. And I'll play it at that point. But I'm enjoying playing this. It's a nice move. And black coming down here is really bad. You know, black should be, you know, getting out and playing something else. Okay. But this again, for a lot of people, I have a lot of students that, you know, they'll play against good moves. They'll play at a two and three down level easily. But against bad moves, they don't know what to do. And all of a sudden, they become five cues. They start playing terrible because what they see in front of them is a terrible move. So it's hard to maneuver amongst garbage. Let's put it that way. So here we are. Black just played a bad move. What do you do? So again, these three moves come to mind. And here he said some stuff that really helped me change my my thinking <clears throat> okay let's talk about the d stone or the d group it has a problem black can push in sente that's one way to abuse white's weakness the other way is here uh, this black move allows this next for black So, my thinking is, let me start getting rid of my weakness this way. Well, problem one is it doesn't get rid of the weakness. Okay. Secondly, a problem with A, and we saw this last video, D creates a low settled group on top. That makes the top small. What am I doing trying to grow the top? It's small. I didn't think about that. I'm thinking, oh, look, I'm building a moyo on the top. His response is, no, it's a, it tops a small area. You don't want it. And I'm thinking, well, if I build it, maybe I want it. No, no, you don't want it. Next, if black does play this, you just do... Is not a problem here. Matter of fact, this is a bad fight for black. And you don't want to ignore. You can also, you know, there's this, which is a whole other thing we won't look at right now. So A is out of the question. Now it's what I played, and we'll see how easy it is to punish white A. Uh, his favorite move here was C, because it's a safe move that's in the heart of Black's Moyo. He thought B was also acceptable because it, you know, threatens to come in and destroy the bottom also. Okay, so I played A. And now I'm left with a problem. <clears throat> the Atari's hard because now something dies. Right, Atari, Atari, and the corner's dead, for instance. There's just problems here. So I can't haunt it. If I back off, it's just a bad situation. Let's look at this one. If I Atari and black... So, right, so bad situation. So I played here, which seems to be the way. And this black player resolved his issues. But the teacher says, here, I would really be afraid as white. Not only is black doing very well in his moyo, but now, this is a very powerful move, really hurting the object. Do I have this? 
No, that's with something else. So we're looking at, I think we'll get there in a second. Oh, here we are. In this situation, I had a hard time knowing what to do here. I don't like his Atari and Descent, right? That's terrible. So I'm thinking, well, looks to me like that's a weak Blackstone. Why don't I push and cut? But my confidence level is quite low. I'm thinking, I'm seeing two weak black stones, right? So I'm entering into his area one moyo. And what, am I killing the A-stones? I mean, my, it looks like a good attack. And this idea of mine is so bad, he actually had to laugh. He says, no, 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 this is terrible for white. I'm like, okay, show me. So black, white has to play here. Black it says, now black ace, horrible. So I'm like, okay, show me, show me. If I stop this way, well, I got to save here. Atari, Atari just dies. Okay, I can't do that. What about we just play this way? Well, that's Black Sente. Uh, because of it's just horrible for white. White might not even live here. So in each case, white's getting pushed around and pummeled and taken down to no points in the corner as black's getting thicker and thicker on top. And it's just not working out. We looked at that. We looked at that. So black played here, which kind of lets me off the hook. Uh, and the game went from there. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, I got lucky here. But I was really surprised. And to him, it got back to, you know, it's because of this empty triangle. It just uses up your liberties, and all of a sudden, black can do all this stuff. I'm like, okay. Now, I knew when I played it that that's, you know, ugly shape, but I'm trying to resolve this. He says, there's no resolution. Once you play this Hane, this is always bad shape. Getting back to the D group is low and settled, making the top small. You don't want to grow with A. And if you do, now you're left with these cuts, right? The whole A, B situation, you have two cuts here, and it's it's just going to be a bother. So I'm like, okay, this, I'm really, I'm going to go over this a couple times. Even now that I just, this is the third or fourth time I've gone through this, and it's like, Still not in my head, because this is such an old habit of mine. <clears throat> Heartbreaking habits. Uh, so, new Joseki for me on the bottom. Oops. Here. Walking away here. To me, it's mind-blowing. Like, I would not dream of walking away here because of the power of Black S8. He's like, just walk away. Black comes down. Do your push, or else his Q2 is going to be Sente, and he doesn't want to kill here because he just ripped all his wall away, all his points. So he's going to respond. And don't don't be responding here. It just leaves all this horrible logic. 
if you respond here it is so thick yes white has a monkey jump don't worry about the monkey jump that's fine right that's just in game so we always respond here and then you get your life you get your monkey jump on the bottom and left with a cut it's like good let's and you had sent it okay i think that covers everything <clears throat> hope it's useful and we'll catch you later bye